Welcome to my tutorial on setting up Java 7 Update 21 on Windows 8. I will also show you how to set it up to edit and create Java programs in TextPad 7. As you will notice, I have the Start button in Windows 8, which I will be using for this tutorial. If you want to follow exactly what I'm doing, you'll need to download the start button yourself. Uh, I do have a tutorial on how to set that up. I'll put an annotation up on the screen and a link in the description. So let's get started. We're going to click on start and search for folder option. Inside here, we're going to select View, and make sure that this is unselected. Hide extensions for known file types. And then select Apply, and OK. That just allows us to see all the file extensions for all the files on our computer. The next step is to get the latest Java JDK. So we're going to open up Firefox. Go to Google, we're going to search for Java SE, and it should be the first thing that pops up, so we'll go to that, uh, and find the latest release. So right now the latest re release is 7 update 21. We'll go down, we want the JDK, select download, then accept the license term and select the system you're using. In my case it's going to be the x86. Select that, save file, and it should start downloading. So we'll just wait for that to finish. Okay, and now that it finished, we'll go up to Firefox, Downloads, Double click on this. You'll probably be prompted to allow access. And now you're ready to go through the setup. Next. Next. Now it's giving us the installer. Okay, so now it's telling us where it's going to save it. Select next. And that, that you have Java installed on your system. So we'll close down that. Exit out of that. Minimize. And now we're going to check that it installed correctly. So we'll go to Start, Computer, C Drive, Program Files, Java, and there's the 1.7 Update 21. So that's what we want. We'll go in there. And now, if this is important, we're going to select this folder. It'll highlight this path, and then we're going to copy it for later. Then we will we can close that. And next thing we're going to have to do is go to Start, Control Panel. Go to Large Icons so that you have the same as mine. We'll go down to System. Advanced System Settings, and select Environment Variables. And next we're going to set up our environment variables. So the first one we have to set up is Path. If you don't have it, you can create a new one. If you do see it, select Edit. Okay, and look through it to find something that looks like this. If you don't see it, then this is where 
copying that path is going to help you. So highlight the path. This is actually the old JDK. So I'll highlight it and I'll go paste. Now I have the new one. If not, I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then add slash bin at the end. So if you don't see that there, you can click space, semicolon space, control V, and paste it in. And then just add a slash bin on the end. But I already have it, so I'll just clear that. Select OK. Uh, the next one you have to change will be in the bottom. So scroll down to Path. If you don't see it, just create a new one. Select Edit. And we're going to look through here to try and find it. There we go. So I have one here. If you don't have it, then you can create a new one. So I'll just highlight that. Control V. And then I have it in. Remember the slash bin on the end. And if you don't have it, same as before, go to the end, space, semicolon, space, and add it in. Once you're finished, select OK. Uh, the next one we have to change is class path, right here. If you don't have it, select new. If you do, select edit. And this is all you want entered in there. Just a semicolon followed by a dot. Select OK. And the last one we have to change is Java Home. So scroll down to find it. If you don't, create a new one. Select edit and we're going to paste our path over top and don't put the slash bin on the end just add it in just like that select ok select ok again select ok again and then we're going to check and make sure that everything was set up and saved, so we'll go to advanced system settings again, environment variables, and you can check all your entries that you made in the tool there. If they're not, you may, de you may need to reboot your system and then uh, either enter them again or hopefully they'll be there. So now that we have Java installed on our system, we're going to go ahead and download TextPad. We'll open up our web browser again. We'll go to textpad.com. We'll select download. Scroll down. Select your language. We're going to download the latest TextPad. TextPad 7. Select download. Save file. Uh, it should download really fast, so we can just go to Firefox, Downloads, and we have it right here. So we're going to actually we'll double click it, open it in WinZip or whatever unzipper you have. We'll just drag the, drag the setup to the desktop. Then we can close all these. Now we're going to double click and start in installing TextPad.
next, accept, whatever computer name you want, folder. It's going to prompt you to allow access, say yes. And we will launch the program, finish. And the next thing we have to do is set up Java to work inside TextPad. So we're going to go to Configure, Preferences, Tools. We're going to expand this, select Compile Java, and hopefully it is set up just like this. If not, put in the fields as you see here, capture output, sound one alert, The next thing you'll have to change is run Java application. And you'll need these values in there. And once you have those entered, select apply, select OK. OK, so now we're just going to do a brief test just to confirm that it's working. So we'll go file, save as. We'll save this as test dot java save okay and now we'll just enter a quick test program so we'll do public class test uh, public static void main string and we'll just do the basic test that everyone learns when they first learn how to use Java or any programming language. We'll print out hello world. This next part can be done with keyboard shortcuts, but I'll show you how to do it in here. Tools, external tools, compile Java. If we bring this up, it'll say compiled successfully. We'll go tools and we'll run Java application. And there we go. It says hello world. So that means it's, everything's running correctly and it's all set up. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and good luck in your programming.